using the zoom menu. The zoom menu has several features in it. We're going to examine four of them today. We're going to examine zoom box. We're going to examine zoom square, which is zoom five. We're going to examine zoom six, which is zoom standard. We're going to finally examine zoom nine, which is zoom stat. The zoom items allow you to make quick, accurate adjustments to your viewing window. And we're going to start out with zoom 6, which is zoom standard. Zoom standard, uh, here's our standard viewing window, x min negative 10, x max 10, x scale 1, y min negative 10, y max 10, y scale 1. And this is what the standard viewing window looks like. And if we find ourselves in a window that is not familiar to us, it can seem to us like we're lost in a maze. Well, we can always get back to normal if we go to Zoom 6. And you may just want to get back to normal quickly without changing everything in the window view. You may know where you are. And now for the next application, we're going to go to, uh, to look at this. We have a function that looks like it crosses the x-axis at least twice. And we're going to go to Zoom Box to take a better look at it. And after we go to Zoom Box, we have a cursor blinking at x equals 0, y equals 0. And we're going to move the cursor over to the left of where we want to evaluate. And we're going to go above that x-axis. We're going to arrow up. And once we are where we want to, in the upper left-hand corner of the box we're trying to evaluate, we press Enter. And then from there, we're going to arrow downward to form the left edge of the box we're considering. And without pressing Enter, we're going to arrow over to the right to define the entirety of the box we're evaluating. And then we press Enter, and it gives us this whole area that we've asked for. And from here, we can go to Trace to evaluate. And if we go over to the far left root, we can see that uh, the left root's about negative 1.1. And so, but we still have, over on the right, uh, we really can't see it. So we're going to go ahead and looks like it has two roots on the right, but it's very congested. So we can use the zoom box yet again to look even closer. And so we're going to go to zoom box, and we're going to put the cursor up there in the upper left-hand corner. So we press Enter, and then we go down to form the left edge of our new box. And without pressing Enter, we go over to the right. And then we press Enter again. And now we have a really good look. We can see that it crosses an additional that first root we evaluated, negative 1.1. 1 .1. It see that we see there are two other roots. And so we can use the trace. And we found roots of negative 0.15 and 0.2. And we can also find the relative minimum here. So uh, the zoom box feature is very valuable when we're looking in tight quarters and having trouble evaluating what's going on. And here we see a relative minimum. And for more on finding roots, maxima, and minima, you, and use, see using the calc menu and evaluating quadratic functions, those lessons are very helpful. Now I've drawn a an isosceles right triangle. Now does it look like an isosceles right triangle? Well the coordinates I used to plot here are 1 comma negative 4, 1 comma 4, and 9 comma negative 4. It should be by those coordinates, an isosceles right triangle, but it doesn't look like it. And it should be a right triangle with two 45 degree angles. But it isn't, it doesn't look like it's isosceles because of the rectangular distortion between rectangle length and width of a normal view screen. And to adjust for that, we choose a zoom 5 or zoom square. And we go to zoom, then 5, and what it does is it adjusts it for us. And how does this happen? Well, what it does, if we go to our window view, we see that it kept y min at negative 10 and y max at positive 10, but adjusted the x min and x max values to make the view screen geometrically proportional. And so that's how it does it. Very helpful feature. And if we have a graph of a circle, okay, it looks like an ellipse, doesn't it? But if we go to zoom 5, it circles it up nicely. So a helpful feature, zoom 5, zoom square. Now we're going to put stat, go to stat, enter, and we enter five points into our uh, stat plot. And if we go to zoom 9, we can either scroll down to 9 and press enter or just hit 9. We're going to see 
all the points in stat. Now that's provided plot one is turned on and y equals. And so that's very helpful to us. And if we go to our window view, we can see the uh, window settings that make the view of these five points possible. So again, to summarize, four uses of the zoom menu. One, zoom standard, which is zoom six, maybe the two most use keystrokes on your graphing calculator at some point. Second, zoom box, which is zoom one, which is used for looking at uh, roots and so forth and tight quarters. Three, zoom square. Zoom five, it brings the uh, view screen back to geometric proportionality. And finally, zoom stat, which is zoom nine, which is, gives us a look at our, our points that are in our plot. I hope this has been helpful to you. Keep on studying. You'll be able to get more and more adept as you go along.